Dear Reader, A Love Letter to Libraries, written and illustrated by Tiffany Rose. Dear Reader, do you see that little girl down there? That's me with the big hair, the one surrounded by all the books. Look! I devour so many books, I prefer them to meals. Books for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a side of adventure and heavy on the feels, please. Big books, small books, thin books, and tall books. Books about fish, alligators, science, and shells. Books full of thrones, quests, friendship, and dreams. Books with brave heroines and heroes saving the day, overcoming every obstacle set in their way. I think of myself as a heroine too. In my cat ears, knee socks, and my favorite green shorts, I'm ready to take on the world. From page to page, characters can become my best friends and make my heart soar, or they can become worthy adversaries to defeat with a clever plan. Even after spending all day in the library with them, I always want more and more and more. There was just this one thing, this nagging suspicion that I didn't meet the criteria for heroine's condition. In the books that I read, an absence of melanin was a clear omission. I looked at all the books that I loved, but could not remember a single solitary character that looked like myself in any of these different stories and fantastical worlds. This must be a mistake, an oversight, a snafu, a misprint. So back to the library I went, searching for characters of the same hue, and all I found were books of struggle, hardship, and pain. The stories of Harriet, Malcolm, Martin, and John Henry are surely ones that needed to be told, but what of the brown people like me who could do magic fight villains, and find lost cities of gold. What did that mean for a girl like me who felt the call of destiny that all great stories provide to never see a face like mine inked on the pages inside? It didn't make me love the stories I'd read any less, but now I want more, need more. Cocoa-colored merpeople, honey-hued dragon slayers, and superheroes with locks, Afro puffs on other planets, and a heroine who thinks out of the box. I once read that if the path you want doesn't exist, create it. So that's just what I'll do. I'll put pen to paper, make my melanated words come to life. I'll tell stories of imagination, magic, and adventure, then set them down on the shelf next to the ones of pain and strife. It'll say my name right there on the spine, populating every shelf, letting kids who look like me shine. With one turn of the page, you'll be whisked away to far off lands. I can tumble down rabbit holes, set sail upon ruby-colored seas, and take twilight tea with a genie, tangled in long seaweed locks and an abundance of words. I imagine worlds beyond the one we live in, and you can too. Scribbling away, stories pour out of me all day and night. Stories that children who look like me can see themselves exploring and saving and discovering and creating, daring to do the impossible as their imagination takes flight. Our stories are as diverse as our skin and deserve to be told. So pick up a book or a pen and let the magic unfold.